So today I'm going to show you how to make some spicy wedges. So these wedges come out looking similar to the ones that you would buy in the shop, but because we're making them ourselves, these ones are going to be better for you and they're going to taste nicer. So what we do is we make basically a um, sort of like an oily spice mix, I guess. Uh, coat the potatoes in that and cook them in the oven and they cook pretty quick and it's pretty easy to make. So let's get started. So start with one kilogram of potatoes. So I've got um, medium sized potatoes here. That's probably what you want to go with. Uh, you can take the skin off if you want or if you want a bit of extra flavor, you can leave the skin on, which I've done here. So what you want to do now is cut each potato into about six wedges. So you can do that by cutting in half first and then turn it to about, uh, say, 45 degrees and just cut straight down from the middle and straight down here. That's pretty much it, six wedges. So just repeat that with all the potatoes. Okay, so as you can see, it's made quite a lot here. So now we just need to move to the spice mix. Okay, so now to make the spice mix. So what I've got here is two tablespoons of cumin powder, two tablespoons of coriander powder, half a tablespoon of cinnamon, and half a tablespoon of chili powder. And add to that half a cup of olive oil. Okay, just mix that together. Now we've got the spice mix made up, got the potatoes chopped up. So what you want to do now is take each potato, put it into the spice mix, make sure it's coated on all sides, and then put it into a baking dish and stand them all up and put them all out. Okay, so that's the whole dish filled with wedges. So what we're going to do now is take some salt and just liberally sprinkle it over the whole top. So just put, you know, fairly good amount on. I mean, not just cover it, but put enough on so everything is seasoned well. Um, and yeah, like I said, don't have to overdo it because when it's done, you can just add more if you want more. So that's basically it. So what you want to do now is take this dish and put it in a 200 degree oven for 40 minutes um, and it should be sort of like crispy on the outside cooked on the inside by the time it's done so yeah 40 minutes at 200 degrees so there it is finished up now the thing with these is we cook it in a oven dish like a sort of like a oven baked dish I guess so the reason you do that is because of the high walls on it it keeps the steam in which makes the potatoes cook a lot faster that's why it only cooks in 40 minutes Whereas roast potatoes can usually take a lot longer than that. So we put them in that, it, it steams them, cooks them nicely. Uh, with one downside, they don't come out super crispy that you might usually expect from them. So if they don't come out as crispy as you actually want them, all you do is take them out of the oven dish, put them on a baking tray, and put them back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes or so, probably five minutes to do it. And just bring them to the crispiest uh, that you like. Um, the other thing, like I said before with the salt, you may not have put enough salt on before you put it in the oven, that doesn't matter. Just put some more salt into taste right now. Um, so other than that, uh, eat it any way you like. I don't know how you eat wedges, but any way you like is fine. And that's about it, so enjoy.